Today we're going to be looking at this waterproof, shockproof, Ivation camera. Um, it's a 20 megapixel camera. Right now we're looking at the front. You can say, oh, it looks like there's two screens. Well, why, yes, there are. There are indeed. There's one for selfies and one for normal, or not normal, but one for uh, typical pictures. So down at the bottom here, you can see that uh, this is where the batteries and the SD card are and also where the um, USB adapter, USB 2 adapter port is, micro USB, micro USB port. Um, the micro USB port is not like you would expect. Um, it is not for charging, it is for attaching to a laptop. So what you can see here is that it's got my micro SD and the batteries, none of which are actually secured. So if I were to tip it, all three would fall out. Um, which is kind of annoying, but it snaps back into place and as we've already mentioned, it's shockproof, so it's really not that big of a deal. So when we turn the camera on, hello loading screen, you can take a picture of the wonderful case that's on my counter here, I'm going to move it over so it's fully in our picture. Um, over here, uh, when we take our picture, here we go. Right now my flash is off. I'll look at picture. Now let's check out our picture. There is a playback button right here. Ta-da! Beautiful picture. Now to get out of playback, you hit the mode button. You can use these uh, left and right arrows to scroll through pictures. And head back. We're back in camera mode. You can see that it is set so that it is um, taking pictures onto the SD card, which you do need to keep in. Um, how many pictures are left, here's the battery life. Up here this box tells you what quality is. You can have normal, regular, or fine. Here, let's head into the mode. We can look. So, resolution. Here's our quality setting. Um, by pushing this top, pushing the camera button, that allows us to choose our settings. Ta-da! Uh, metering. Whether we have it on auto, daylight, cloudy, you can head back by pushing the menu button, scrolling down with the um, zoom in, zoom out keys, sharpness, effect, time, date, stamp. And then if you go over, it also has settings, and you can decide your settings. I am not that big of a camera groupie, so I don't know what all of the settings mean, but I can tell you some of them. So on the top of the camera, there's the power button, um, the, what is that, the shutter? And then this one switches it to selfie mode. Hello, we're looking at my camera and me. Um, you can't see the screen over here, but that's selfie mode and takes pictures just fine. Here we go. It just uh, focuses. You can see me take a picture of my beautiful phone. We can switch it back, go into playback mode. Wow, what a pretty phone case. And. Uh, Scroll over and, whoa, what a beautiful camera case. Voila. Camera's fairly easy to use. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it says it's autofocus. I haven't quite figured that out, but it does have good zoom and zoom out. Um, overall, a very good camera, and I'm excited to have something that is durable around in my house. And I hope you enjoyed this video.